So I just received a question from someone and they asked, should I be a vegetarian or is eating meat better for me? My answer was, yes. <laughs> Just like the, um, the uh, sage of Jainism, Mahavir would answer any question. I believe he used to say unequivocally yes or something like that to any question. Why? Well, he actually said there's seven perspectives or seven answers, you could say, to any question. And that's really the truth. So usually when people ask me questions like that, I say, well, it depends. It depends. What does it depend on? Well, it depends on you. <laughs> depends on you. Um, you have your own blueprint for physical health, for sure. That's one eighth of your blueprint, physical health. And through that, you can find out what works for you physically and what doesn't. Um, I saw a post yesterday on Facebook from a friend of mine, and he was posting about eating during this, you know, pandemic and eating simply. And, and he said he's happy that he had discovered macrobiotics and macrobiotic cooking a long time ago because it's coming in handy right now. So he eats really simply beans and vegetables and grains and um, kind of sound like he was recommending that for everybody. And therein lies the problem that may work for him. And that's amazing, wonderful. And that will work for a lot of people, actually. Um, but it may not work for somebody else. It certainly didn't work for me. <laughs> I was macrobiotic for quite a long time. I was really into it. I was really into the philosophy. I was really into the whole thing. Um, but I was so unhealthy from not having any animal protein in my diet. I was like 135 pounds. I'm like, I'm six foot one. I got every illness that came around. I got every cold, every virus, <laughs> every everything that came around. I got it. And finally, when my mentor for this system came along and, you know, said, well, what are you eating? And I said, mm, you know, vegetarian, pretty much vegan. And he was like, oh no, how do you feel? I said, I feel terrible. <laughs> he said, try some chicken. And that took me about a year <laughs> to come around to that. Cause I was like, oh no, but I did. Finally, one day it took a lot, but I did. And my body just went, ah, yes, 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 more, please, more of that. And so I did. And felt better and better and better. Now, does that mean vegetarianism is wrong or bad? No. Again, it depends. So, you know, in this system, we have the eight different physical ways of going out of balance, six main ones, um, the imbalance of heat, the imbalance of cold, the imbalance of light, the imbalance of heavy, the imbalance of oily, and the imbalance of dry. Six main ones, then there are two mixed types, which we won't go into right now, but they can be mixtures. Three of those six are catabolic types, meaning faster metabolism, faster way of digesting. The other three are anabolic types, slower metabolism, slower way of digesting. 
the three catabolic types do better with animal protein because they need concentrated energy to slow down their metabolism a bit, to challenge the metabolism. The three anabolic types do terribly with animal protein because it's too concentrated for them. It's too heavy. It's too, they need lighter and less protein. So there are protein types and there are non-protein types. This is the basic idea. Find out who you are. You'll know what to eat.